Hi everyone! It's me again, Dr. Gail Robredo Vitas. And here in the Philippines, specifically in Luzon and in Metro Manila, we are going into our fourth week of the enhanced community quarantine, which has been extended until April 30th. A few days ago, two of my patients texted me asking if they should really be wearing masks because it was causing them irritation and breakouts. So I gave them tips on how to minimize these skin conditions and actually how to take care of them. But I think the more important question is, should we really be wearing masks if we feel that we're okay? And if yes, kailan ba tayo kailangan magsuot ng mask? Anong klaseng masks? And how do we properly use them? This new coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2 is now known to be transmitted from person to person through respiratory droplets and cause the disease which we call COVID-19. Itong respiratory droplets na to are generated when someone was COVID-19, coughs, sneezes, exhales forcefully, or touches objects or surfaces. Any healthy individual can get infected if these droplets enter his eyes, his nose, his mouth, or if he touches any contaminated object or surface and then touches his face. Knowing these facts, kailangan ko ba talagang magmask? And does wearing one protect me from getting COVID-19? Just recently, in addition to proper hand washing and physical distancing, our Department of Health as well as the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention and World Health Organization are now recommending to use homemade masks or cloth masks when in public places wherein it's difficult to maintain that six feet distance from one another. So this includes your grocery, your pharmacies, and even banks. This is because there's growing evidence that some people who have COVID-19 may not have any symptoms and are making other people sick. New data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention state that up to 25% or isa sa bawat apat na individual na may COVID-19 ay asymptomatic. So yes, we do need to wear masks. But understand that wearing a mask if you don't have symptoms is not meant to protect you. Rather, it is meant to protect others from getting the infection if you are COVID-19 positive but are showing no symptoms. So the next questions would be, what are the types of masks and when and how do I use them? There are three general types of masks. First would be your homemade masks or your cloth masks. So I have them with me so you can buy yung mga ganito na may design or you can actually even make your own. It comes in different colors. They offer a very small degree of protection dun sa nagsusuot, but it is helpful in preventing the spread of your SARS-CoV-2. So the main function of your cloth or homemade masks is to prevent you from expelling respiratory droplets and infecting other people in case you are COVID-19 positive. The good thing about it is that you can make it at home with your normal cotton fabric. You can even use your scarves. They are reusable and they are washable. The downside lang is that sometimes um, when you wear cloth masks, you get campante and it gives you a false sense of security. So some people forget to wash their hands, they forget to keep their distance, which are also very important. But it is better than nothing. How do we properly use our cloth masks? Every time you go out or you're in a public place where um, social distancing is kind of hard to maintain, you should wear your cloth mask. You should wash them every day and when you remove them, avoid touching your nose, your mouth, and your eyes. It is also important to wash your hands immediately after removing your mask. Do not put on children less than 2 years old or on individuals who already have difficulty breathing or on those who are unable to remove the mask on their own. If you have symptoms or are taking care of someone who has symptoms or is COVID-19 positive, surgical masks are better for you. Next, we have surgical masks. So surgical masks are loose-fitting masks that cover your nose, your mouth, and your chin. It is a medical device that is meant to be worn for a specific number of hours only, which prevents the spread of respiratory droplets by the wearer and also protects the wearer from sprays, splashes, and large droplets of blood and body fluids. Usually, you will see them flat and rectangular with folds so that it's stretchable. They are not that efficient in blocking your SARS-CoV-2 
because they do not filter very small particles and if you wear them, there's air leakage on the sides. But if you're symptomatic, please do wear them because they can block your respiratory secretions from going out and infecting others. How to properly use surgical masks? First, make sure that you clean your hands properly before putting on the mask. Inspect for tears, for damage before putting them on. The hard part should be on top and the darker colored side facing outwards. So place the hard part on top of your nose and depending if you have a loop or like a tie, make sure that it's fitted behind and you can stretch so that it covers your nose, your mouth, and your chin. Avoid touching the mask when on, but if you must, make sure to clean your hands after. To remove and loop bands without touching the front of the mask and properly dispose in the appropriate clothes bin and wash hands thoroughly. Now we go to the N95 respirator. So this is one that I have lying around. Um, I got it uh, when the Taal volcano erupted. And this is special because it filters out very small airborne particles or contaminants such as viruses and bacteria. They filter out 95% of particulate aerosols as small as 0.3 microns in size. They are usually oval in shape and designed to form a tight seal around the face. A poor seal can lead to leaks which lowers its effectivity. Use of N95 respirators or masks are not recommended outside healthcare settings kasi, number one, they have to be used properly. They have to fit well and the wearer must know how to put them on. Because if there are leaks, then it's not effective. Number two, because they are tight, they can be uncomfortable and stuffy for the wearer, especially if used over extended periods of time. And finally, I'm sure you all know this, there is a global shortage for N95 masks. And kung mahikipag-agawan pa tayo, mauubusan yung mga medical health practitioners and frontliners who deal with COVID-19 patients. So before I end my video, just a recap and a few reminders. Wearing a mask does not guarantee 100% protection from SARS-CoV-2. Remember that the virus can also be transmitted through your eyes and the small viral particles can penetrate your mask. However, they can capture respiratory droplets containing the virus and prevent transmission. And of course, ang pagsuot ng mask can be more effective when paired with other ways to prevent getting COVID-19 such as cleaning your hands, not touching your face, cleaning surfaces with bleach, and physical distancing. With that, I end my video. So again, I am wishing everyone safety, good health. Kaya natin to, I believe that we will get over this. We will beat COVID-19. Bye!